What's going on guys, it's Ellie. Welcome to the part 9 of my 3D printed 8 skill to Hero Subra. In today's video, we will be working on the brake calibers. Here's the brake calibers I have. I bought it on AliExpress. I will make sure to put the link in the video description box below. So you can purchase it if you want to have a brake because I have a nitro engine so I want to have a brake it's not going to be like electrical so you can reverse it so we will need a brake and this brake comes with its rotor and the quality is very high actually I'm really impressed about it and we made we have a hub and rotor but I can't install this on it so we have to redesign it so we can have that hub on it and then we can connect the caliper on it so I made a new design the bolts will be here and also these bolts for the upper arm and lower arm exist as well the kit also comes with rear calipers and the bolts are a bit shorter I didn't know that until I put everything back and I saw these are shorter so I had to redesign it again to make that rear hub a bit shorter for these bolts so you don't have to change the bolt you can just put it on with the front one I put these on the front because I will have more brake in the front like it will be 60% for the front and 40% something like this for the back so uh, we need a good grip on it I didn't want you to replace these bolts because with this one this bolt you can be changed easily and this one you have to disassemble the whole caliber so this one comes out so we're not gonna do that so I designed it front half for this long and I designed the back hub for these short bolts so in today's video we're gonna put all that on this I also changed the arms length it's six millimeter shorter than the original one because I'm gonna be using these wheels and the offset is different from these ones so I had to redesign it and make it shorter and now we have rotor and we have the slider for these rotors and it will be sliding in like this and I have new design for the nut. It will be like this. How cool is that? This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is offering 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. You just have to put the file and it will tell you the price and shipping date. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks for PCBWay for sponsoring this video. We are done with the front suspension and right now it's very good like you can see even the slider working good and this is good we will figure out how to connect the cable but for now this is very good and I didn't want to show the nut like this so I made these ones so the nut will be inside and it's a tight fit so the nut will stay in and not gonna come out and then we will put these wheels on but for now it will be something like this now we're gonna put the nut in and put the wheels on and then we will go to the rear suspension all 
Alright, we are done with front caliper and it looks very realistic. Now we will go to the rear suspension and assemble all that. If you remember in the previous video I had a problem with these, I wanted a longer ones, but I figured out how to solve this. I made spacer like this so the nut will be inside and it will push these to the differential so we're not gonna have any problem and I did so many tests like you can see all these tests and now we have the final solution now we're gonna put them on Alright we are done with rear brake and now it's connected with differential and we didn't change the axle length and I wanted to stay with standard sizes so you can buy it and just put it on we don't need any welding on it so it will be complicated but we don't need that and finally we solved that and the only thing remaining here is put these bolts on and put the cover so the differential will be secured and we will be done here. Alright, I will put the wheel on and lower it down. Uh, we're gonna test fit the fender so we can see the gaps between the fender and the wheel and turn the wheels and steering so we can see our measurement is correct. Alright, I think after many tries, the fender looks very good and the brake and the car moving freely. I also designed these caps for the wheel nut so it doesn't show the nut and it will go on like this. I think like this is much better and much realistic. And we have another update for the brake. I was thinking about 3D printing a cable that will be flexible, but for that you need a resin printer because with this printer you can't be that accurate. So you have to use resin printer just like I did with the headlights. But I have another idea. You can use uh, these straws that comes with the spray cans. Uh, most of the times it will come with any type of cleaner spray can or the glues I'm using like these ones always comes with these straws. So this straw works like a brake cable and it goes in like this and we can put few of these till it gets to the servo and we can pull the cable with the servo and I for that I have a 20 kilo servo and for the main core of the wire I will use these steel wires and this is a bit thick for this cable so I'm gonna uh, take the core only and the core will be like this here is the core and it will be perfect for our application and it's flexible and not gonna be resistant for this servo. 
now I'm designing the servo mount for the brake I will do some test printing and for the next video we will put that on the car and put the cables in hope you guys enjoying the project as I do if you are new here I will put the playlist in the video description box below how I started this project thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one